Hello everyone, it's Monkey Work, and we are back again for some more undersea adventures in Abzu. It's been a little while since we last played, so I apologize for that. But hopefully we can continue on and uh, maybe finish off this, this story. When we last left off, we had basically gone through an area where we had ourselves revealed to be a robot and everything all peeled away from us. And we're in this pretty little spot with Turtle right above us. Look at that guy. Now I've done some some uh, searching online for how long this game typically runs for. And it seems the average to beat the game is roughly around the two hour point. Um, which we're getting pretty close to in our playthrough here. So we'll see if that also holds true to us or not, but if possible, we'll try to finish off the game this episode. If not, there'll be one more. And we're back to this area again. It seems really weird to take this character out of the water after how much time we spent in the water. Now, I think this is where we left off last time, where I wasn't sure where I was going, but it seems the only place I can go is this direction to dive off. Um, so as we look out here, I'm going to assume the light coming down is significant. And we see some light coming down to a column over there and over there. And I'll try to aim for this one first. One thing I am going to miss about this game, when we do finish it, is how smooth it is to swim around. At times it feels a little bit clunky because it's, you know, it doesn't go exactly where you intended it to go, but uh, it gets close, and it's, oh, it's a very nice feeling the way the controls work on this. Send this magical water down to that center thing. Oh, here's another one of the... Meditate for a moment. Oh, look at the snake. That's not a snake, it's like a Nessie type creature. Oh, that's cool. Alright. I'm across the ocean here a little bit to go get to the... We haven't done one of these little things over here in a while. And unlock this side of the fountain, which, as we can guess, is probably going to fill the center area up. <clears throat> and maybe unlock the big door that's off to the side there. We'll see. Yeah, that's exactly what it did.
That creature's so cool. <laughs> We go. Whoosh. So whatever the civilization was that created, assumably me, and all these buildings, they really love giant doors. That door is pretty easy to open. Oh, I like that tree. Very orange. This game is definitely feels better when you're in the water. The the camera work and everything outside of the water not so great. Can I get up here on this thing? I wonder. No, oh, it won't let me jump. I gotta jump off this little outcropping over here. It looks like there'll be a pretty clear path for me to follow. Oosh. That was another one where I fly through the schools and... I almost feel like I'm being guided here, like I didn't really do much with the control on that, I just swam. I feel like there might have been stuff I missed. Wow. Is this like Atlantis, I wonder? I never considered that before. supposed to go. So pretty. Very pretty in blue. Um, okay. Uh, we've got the chains. Let's follow where the chains go. As I was swimming down there, I did see a door that was closed. I'm assuming that's what these chains are going to unlock.
Ooh, that looks like a, another one of those swirling space vortexes. back here again. Well, clearly we go towards this thing in the middle. Is it going to heal us and turn us back into full? That's a shark friend of ours that died. That's awesome. He's back. Hey, shark buddy. What did I name you? Bill or Bob? And they did. They regenerated me. Perfect. I was looking a little bit naked there. Trippy. Whoa. Oh, that's cool. What'd you do today? Oh, I just jumped around the ocean with my shark friend and did cool flips and stuff. Oh, that's so neat. We can we can destroy them all now. Oh, we missed that one. Turn around. Ugh. <coughs> and now instead of being phantom versions, they're all real. And we go that way, apparently. This is like the same four places I unlocked in the ethel or ethereal area. It's now unlocking them in the real world ish. That was two of them. I expect there'll be two more. explode. Is 
this one the stingrays? Or did we already do the stingrays? I can't remember. Oh, this is the big whales, okay. Oh! <laughs> Jump out of the water and ran into a great big spike. That wasn't handled gracefully. Keep missing it. Crap. There we go, and I still had one more over here. There's too many things on the screen I can't see. Over here. Oh, there's still one more up here. Oh, we gotta do a big dramatic jump to it. I screwed it up. I didn't do my dramatic jump, but... Oh, I could've just hung on to him? Oh, I didn't realize. I could've been swimming... swimming with Bill the whole entire time. thing that just breached. Oh, that was a huge whale. Alright, Bill. Where I have to get off. Ever since they regenerated my suit, it feels like my controls are off. There we go. Oh! Oh, I can just smash a path through now. Oh, explosions! Right into the eye. Oh, the giant ship. It's now being turned into a coral reef or something. So alien, but so kind of fitting, actually. Is this the end of the game? I kind of feel this might be the end. Oh. It is. So we finished as well, right at around the two hour mark. So this is a very short game, if you wish to get it. 
but very beautiful. The, the swimming controls are excellent. I'd love to see maybe a more of a game game rather than a story um, exploration thing like this done with the same sort of a swimming mechanic. But for now, I'm going to shut up, let the credits roll, because these people who made this game deserve the attention, and just enjoy my last few minutes of swimming around here in Abzu. I hope you've enjoyed it. My name's Monkey Work, and until next time, I'll catch you all later. <laughs>